Hello and welcome. It's good to have you here again. This is question 26 of the YAC 2017 and the question goes thus. Given that cos 30 degrees and sine 60 degrees are both equal to these and that sine 30 degrees and 60 degrees are both equal to these, we are then to evaluate this. Okay? Good. But first let us try to interpret the given statement and the question. As we know that in trig ratios we have it has to do with the right angle and the right angle you know forming 60 degrees and 30 degrees okay good so let us now use the diagram to interpret the given statement so but before then let us remember the formula the so tour okay O for opposite H for hypotenuse A for adjacent okay good so for cos 30 degrees we were told is cube root over 2 so this is the angle that we're talking about and um, the adjacent is the side by the right angle that is this side so we're told it is cube root, okay? And the hypotenuse, that is the longer side of the tri triangle, we're told is 2. So let us verify sine 60 degrees. This is the angle we're talking about. And this angle, sine 60 degrees, we're talking of opposite of hypotenuse, which is cube root over 2. So that also is correct. This is equally is actually equals to this. So let us verify sine 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees we were told is 1 over 2. And we're talking about this degree. So opposite of that is 1. And the hypotenuse is 2. That is confirmed. What about cos 60 degrees? We're talking about this degree. Okay. Which is adjacent. The adjacent of cos 60 degree is 1 okay and the apart news is 2 so verifying all that we can now find the values for tan 60 degrees with this diagram now will be okay that is opposite which is the cube root over the adjacent which is 1 okay cube root okay over 1 all right which is just there is no need to write that okay minus one all right then quickly uh whenever i see fractions like these i like representing this division line with this division sign okay so let us represent tan 10 degrees tan 10 degrees is opposite which is one okay over the over the adjacent which is cube root okay so now we've done that, let us simplify further, okay? So we have cube root minus 1, okay? Divide, let us work on this bracket. We need to find the LCM of these two fractions, and as we know, this will be cube root. So 1 goes in cube root, where we have cube root, because cube root times 1 will give us cube root, okay? Then cube root in cube root that will be 1, 1 times 1 that will give us 1. Okay, so now let us simplify further. Okay, uh, it's getting interesting. We need to change this division sign to multiplication sign and that will affect the fraction because the denominator will become the numerator and the numerator will become the uh, the denominator. Okay, so now I can see that we can cross out these two okay so we are left with the cube root okay that is our final answer so option c right answer thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye